what is good guys it's ray j back with another video and in this one i want to give you guys a very quick update on spy tesla and video the qqq and a couple of other tickers i'm also going to break down what's going on with the economic calendar moving forward what you should be watching for as time progresses but before i begin to dabble this information before i get into any more details let me just mention a couple of things i am firstly not a financial planner so take nothing i say as financial advice and also if you guys can please check out the Moomoo link which is down below and in the description if you sign up for Moomoo and deposit $100, you're guaranteed seven free stocks and offerings in just three weeks. Anyways, for the market right here, you guys can see that we're kind of stuck right over here at this 517 range on SPY. If we bounced off this, we could try to make our way back up just a little bit slowly. But as you guys can see, it's becoming more difficult for SPY to do this because what you're seeing right here is uh, the fact that we got this little pump right over here, which is where I would say a lot of short shorting started happening. And this was, once again, a nice area to trigger stomps once we broke the high of the day. And as we approach this 18.5 area, before SPY got a big rejection. So to me, there's a possibility that SPY is going to start to reject, actually start dipping a little bit more from here. But we first have to watch at least to see if we lose our 20 EMA. We're very close to doing so. And I think there's a very, very good chance that that could be what's about to happen. So going into tomorrow, just as a reminder, we have almost no data, just a couple of Fed speakers and nothing too crazy tomorrow. So the market has room to just do what it has to do. And we'll see how things end up performing from here. Uh, Cash Kari finished his speech, didn't say anything too crazy. Uh, but you guys can see right here, the market's reaction so far is still not the best. So in my opinion, uh, I think that it's possible we're going to be testing our 20 EMA by tomorrow. That's going to be the 516 area by tomorrow. And if we do lose this, we could see this thing drop all the way down to the first imbalance at 515 and eventually all the way down to our 50 EMA into the 513 area. Now, it's a possibility, but we need confirmation first. Haven't lost our 20 EMA yet. But I'm seeing signals that are showing that we have a bearish divergence developing here. And we're starting to show signs of rejection on SPY that could turn things for the <coughs> that could turn things for the markets. Excuse me, guys. So that's something very important. For Tesla, we're also dipping a bit more on Tesla. We're barely holding 178. We're showing some weakness right now. Tesla was trying to hold up. It was trying to turn in this move, ended up failing so far. And our next support is going to be at our 200 EMA at 175. Our resistance is going to be at 180. In my personal opinion, I think that there's a very, very good chance that this could dip even more. So you want to be very, very careful. Now, with this bearish divergence on Tesla de developed right over here, you guys can see it on the uh, MACD. Uh, this is actually looking a little bit weaker, and I do see a risk of it dipping all the way down to 175. And then eventually, you know, if we lose that, there's this big gap to fill all the way down into the 160s. So there is a risk of some downside on Tesla, in my personal opinion. So just be careful and just look at this potential gap fill as a real possibility. Tesla could dip a bit, but that is if we end up losing 178, if we close below that, and if we see another continuation down going into tomorrow. So I want to give you guys a warning about that for NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been kind of stuck in this range. 908 is our resistance zone. Uh, there's also resistance very close to 920. Our support is at 900, and then we also have 892. Losing that opens the door for this gap fill all the way down here, followed by lower levels into the 880s. So in my personal opinion, with this rejection, there is a risk of some downset on NVIDIA. We could see this actually dip a bit more. I wanted to call out why that's very probable. So with this potentially happening, this could lead to another test of our 50 EMA and lower levels. And so far, NVIDIA is continuing to show weakness. So in my opinion, uh, NVIDIA could be turning here. We'll watch and see how it reacts to these levels and see which way it breaks. But just be careful because I'm seeing weakness on here. And then for the QQQ, it's the same thing. There could be uh, a tight resistance right here at 442, and we could be looking for a rejection. It's possible, but we have to lose our 20 EMA first. If we lose 439 tomorrow, this thing could easily start dipping all the way down to 436.5 to 437 again, our 50 EMA all over again. So I'm just telling you that there's a risk of downside for that. For Apple, we're also trading kind of sideways right here within this range, but Apple, we're going to be looking at our 50 EMA to be tested 181.15. We'll see if that breaks or not. So I am seeing potential uh, a potential rejection coming here. So just be careful, guys. Uh, for stocks like Amazon, Amazon came all the way up to my target, 190, almost exactly. So I called that out. Once we hit 190, we're starting to turn a, a bit back down. Watch 188. If we lose that, if we fail to hold 188, if we fail to actually close above that, we could be dipping to 186.5. For Meta, I called out uh, 472. That's almost exactly where this thing ended up pushing to. We called it to a T and we kind of rejected off that. So watch a test of our 20 EMA, this 464 area. If we lose that, we're going to be dipping more as well. Now, even though the market is dipping, the VIX is kind of dipping a bit with it. And the VIX is 
once again approaching the 12 area. That's where it loves to bounce. We're very close to that area. So we'll see if the VIX gets a big bounce or not. Uh, will this thing start dipping to fill this gap and then get a big bounce? Or are we about to bounce from here? We'll have to watch and see if the VIX is getting, getting ready for some kind of bounce or something. Because that could be because of the market potentially getting a rejection. So I think that's very probable for tomorrow. And we'll have to see how things go. With that being said, the dollar index is also trying to rebound a bit. If we break 105.5, we have an imbalance to fall all the way up to 105.75. And that could be very important. So we'll just have to see how things go. With that being said, I just want to thank you all so much for listening. There are signals suggesting the market could be getting a rejection. Watch for confirmation to see if we lose our 20 EMAs from this point on. And if we do end up doing so, a bigger drop could be coming. I just want to say I really appreciate every single one of you. Please have an absolutely incredible rest of the day. And we'll wait and see how things go, at least moving forward. Thank you for listening, guys. And peace out.